government building. You're you not can't. Yeah, it's against the here. law to film on a government get building. It is not. It is. No, it's not. Get the hell, they, yeah, no, it's not. to the post office. Get y the yes. hell out of here. No, thank you. It's against the law. Get to the hell out of here. No, thank you. Call the police because it is against the law. My car got. Government building. Hey, get the hell out of here. My car got broke into right here. Wait, wait. Can I understand? I'm trying. I'm trying to piece it together. Did he get out of the car to, to, to look intimidating? Motherfucker's a male. He, dude, he's like a male nurse with fucking white hair. Get the fuck back in the car, pussy. Get My car got broke into right here. And get the hell out of no here. They're no, not thanks. Even allowed there's to have no cameras here. The law. No, thank Move. you. No, thank you. I'm, I'm calling you the police. Hurry up. Yeah, they're trying to be. Dude, is this a joke? Come on, guy. D is this a joke? Half no, thank you. Pog. You play dude, we got, dude, today. we got fake 75-year-old G.I. Joe and motherfucking, like, 80-year-old white-haired male nurse boy here. Please. Hurry up, come on, guys, you're holding up traffic you're back here. Traffic. I, I, I'm not a vehicle, miss. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. No, thank you. You go about your day, sir. You go about yours. I am, sir. This is my job, sir. This is your job. Uh, uh, this is your job. Who sent you here? Who sent you here? Sir, please move Who along. Who sent you here? <laughs> don't care, sir. Please, sir. Dude, this is one of those movies and they have a gun. He's like, who is your boss? Who hired you? Who do you work for? I'm, I'm, I'm not embarrassed at all. Get the hell out of here. No, thank you. You have a good day. Leave here. No. Who who gave you this job to do? No, it's not, sir. Look it up. This is a government bill. Come on, guys. Come on. Move along. You guys are holding up traffic. Hey, guys. G.I. Joe is fucking Corolla Mobile Apollo Chant. security camera. Back who sent you? Tone. Wouldn't scientists you consult you because you could smell no, deviation? No, you're the one who needs to leave. Okay, then, then you're the one who needs to leave. You're the one who needs to leave. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to leave. No, thank you. No, this, exactly. This Miss. federal building, he does sir, not sir, have the don't right. Don't talk to her like that. Don't talk to her like that, okay? He does not have the right. He doesn't have the right. They should And until you become federal marshal, maybe you should go on to. Okay. Yes. Rachel, thank you, please sir. Please go ask the postmaster. The postmaster. I've been here before. Okay, I did an audit right here before. Go about your business and, and let him do what Thank you, sir. My right to privacy. As you to say here, and I, guard this building. I'm a citizen and I have my say. rights to privacy as sir. granted by this building. Sir, there's been what updates in law. Okay, office. you need to educate <laughs> yourself. When were these updates? Last week. 2010. No. Okay. Not. Well. The, less than. Less Dude. than. Let it ride. You just let it ride, it. bro. Yes. Let this this man is educated, okay? Uh, tell me what your business is. You tell don't me. need to know that. You, you don't need yes, to know I that, did. sir. He's not asking yours. Yes. Okay, then I've got just as much right to argue with him as he has. As I don't want to argue with you, sir. If not more. Your business. Just, sir. Mind sir. your own business. These you look like such a pussy. People here are educated, okay? You okay. might want to well, go well, inside your vehicle before you make yourself aren't. more dumb. Yeah, guys, don't trust people who have glasses with uh, transparent frames. That that's a that's just a golden rule. Because because we demand. Yeah, what do you got no, something to hide? What do you got something to hide, huh? You got something in that car? I should let the cops know about? Because I. Oh, watch out, guys! Watch out, man! Yeah. Oh, for sure, bro. Go, I gotta go. So move. go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm not blocking. Uh, this, is, this is just a triggering video, dude. Holy shit! I'm done Hope with you guys it. Have a good day. Do not call this smart man a dummy. You're a dummy. Did you just call me a dummy? Oh! Did you just call me a dummy? Oh, he did. Yes, I did. Get the fuck out of here or you're gonna have trouble now. Wait, 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 you're doing the same thing That's I was exactly. doing. That's exactly, get out of here now. Exactly. I'm not going you, anywhere. You got in my shit now, buddy. No, you're <laughs> in mine. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna get back in it, too. No, go ahead. What are you gonna do I about saw. it, punk? She looks like, like, uh, like the Michelin. You know the Michelin dude? And they got the tires. She looks like him. Go ahead and record the, the... threats right there. I have since been informed that you have the right to do this. Go ahead and do it. Do it every day for all we care. But he's causing, he's causing a scene, is what he's doing. It, it, he's he's causing a What? Did she say assault? Below the, what? I have called the How do you not film <laughs> people's heads? He's aiming it at my Let face. me, may I, um, I try to de-escalate this? No, see what fine, I mean? then see what tell me who with? sent you. I try to, I try to explain to him. De-escalate by telling me who what, sent you. What I'm doing is, is perfectly. Dude, I think he's asking like who sent them because he wants his job. Legal? I think it's done being a here. They're gonna tell this man here that what I'm doing is perfectly legal and what he's well, doing a, a, evident she already has. She already has told me that what you're doing is assault legal. damage. Well, you guys are dismissed. Both of you are dismissed. Thank you. You're dismissed. Uh sir, dismissed. Okay. Well I I I 
you're just. <laughs> He said, don't dismiss me, asshole, you minimum wage piece of shit. <laughs> see, see, I think she's doing, if you were to say assault, I feel like she's assaulting more than he assaulted anybody. She, she's chasing him. permission whoa, to whoa. videotape my license you do not have permission to look see, see that 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 would probably be more assault than they did at any given point in the video i think she's too retarded to understand that joe joe and rachel we got names Why? what's that new style is that his new style? The fuck is this? Fucking fashion model over here, dude. No, I'm Joe fine. and Rachel, he, we got names. He, yeah, and you do not have my permission. To I just put got me it. On any Joe and Rachel, we got Joe here. Yeah. And then we got Rachel. Hey, hey, hey. Enjoy. Yes, uh, what First Amendment? What again? Audit. First this guy's getting educated. This is this guy's happy. Yes, he just learned something today. We're asking him to leave. You guys aren't gonna stay for the cops to educate you both. Or maybe. <laughs> oh no, it's the baby boomer gang. I bet he's so scared. Well, you guys scared. have a great day and thank this you for the video. This is probably okay? the most exciting situation they've been in in five years. <laughs> True. Well, let's see, see this. later, Joe and Rachel. <laughs> Amazing. I wonder if they come back. Hold up. Uh, they'll come back. Hey, Joe! He's back! Do you need your name? Excuse me? I need your name. You're not going to get my name. Why? What you're doing is illegal. What I said over there was illegal. Reason why you have no consent. What his pen now? He has his pen now. I don't need consent, sir. Okay. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Look up the law, dude. I just looked it up. So I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna identify you, anyways. That's fine, and I, sir. And, and I'm gonna sue the fuck out of you, okay? That's fine. Got that? Perfect. Thank you. I'll find out who you are. Alrighty. <laughs> you as well? Chat. Everybody, don't move, guys. Uh -huh. Got it. I'll find out who you are. Terry Wood? Alrighty, Terry Wood. Do so you work for the U.S. Marine, sir? Why, do I look like a Marine? Uh, yeah. Maybe a retired one. Get that out of my face. No, thanks. It's on the back. <laughs> Alright, got you. Shouldn't you have one on the front? How you doing, sir? Okay, dude. His name is Terry Wood. Okay, 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 fuck, dude. Missed my Dono Pepe hands. Put it down, bro. Put it down! 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 What did I tell you? Down! Down! Put your hands behind your back. You got any guns on you? No, papi. No, papi. No, I ain't your papi. Put your head down. No, go, no, no, go, papi. What do you got? Just that? Yes, papi. Just marijuana? Yes. yes. Keep your hands here. Bye. You got no knife on you? No, papi, nothing. You sure? Yes, papi. I ain't your papi. Yes, officer. Yes, officer. <laughs> you hear me? Yes. I hear you. <laughs> Where you coming from? I, I come from home. Turn around. Where's home? <laughs> I come to the third by day, papi. You were in the project just now. What are you talking about, home? <laughs> Don't lie to me. Right. Where did you just come from? Uh -huh. From the project. From the project? Yes. But what are you doing? God damn it, watch the Hutch Twins the, video. The tobacco? the tobacco? Yes, officer. You sure? Yes, officer, I'm sure. You want to go home, papi? Well, are you call me Poppy again? By officer. Watch officer, this, please, you? Felix. Again, you call me that. Don't call me Poppy again. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? Why does he keep calling him Pappy? A place to lodge. A pearlfish is looking for exactly that. A hidey hole. Like, it looks like a dick. This cumbersome oddball. Ricardo flick any flickos. Ricardo flick any flickos. A rather strange looking lump known as a sea cucumber. 
It spends its days sucking sand in through one end of its body, extracting anything nutritious from it, and passing what it doesn't want. Oh, what the fuck? It's the ultimate beach cobra. Okay, it's revolting. But could this walking colon be a safe haven? Oh, people get inside of it. It seems it could. And strangely, it prefers the back door to the front. Any port in a storm? What the fuck, dude? But the pearlfish is in fact very clever. Sea cucumbers are repulsive to most predators, meaning the crafty lodger is safe inside. In fact, it is such a comfortable pad that after settling in, it is happy to share his home with friends and family. Dude, what the fuck? That's just disgusting, though. One civilization ending volcano. Huh. Underneath Yellowstone is the world's largest super volcano with enough potential energy to wipe out most of the United States and destroy the global economy, potentially the world. Now don't worry, this isn't a video to scare you or tell you to buy guns to shoot at the inevitable ash cloud. Scientists say the volcano is overdue for an eruption, hit. but in geological terms, it won't explode for another thousand to ten thousand years. So, what's the point of this video? Well, let's ask the question. What if the Yellowstone volcano did erupt? Say the volcano actually explodes in the present day. How would the world react? Now, one viewer may say, this is an alternate history. Well, you're right, but it sure is an interesting scenario, so we'll cover it anyway. If the volcano actually did erupt soon, we would have a fair bit of warning. Using measurements of temperature and volcanic forecasting, scientists would give an alert if the eruption was imminent. An alert could be seen a few days or weeks before the initial eruption. Scientists would report to the United States government first before all else, saying that a catastrophic event is about to begin. Full-scale emergency mode begins nationwide. The U.S. government calls on the citizens to evacuate the entire western portion of the country. It would be the largest full-scale evacuation in American and world history. Since people would only have days to leave the area and their homes, there would be chaos for those trying to leave and others exploiting the loot left behind. Mass riots develop across major U.S. cities, mostly in the West. In a few days, states like Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Utah are depopulated. Their citizens gone and crossing the Mississippi River. Many would be stuck behind. Those who don't have cars in the cities or too poor in rural areas would have to wish for the best. They would just jump on cars, dude. Stock markets would crash across the globe. Economies are put in jeopardy from simply anticipation of the eruption. The days before the eruption would be filled with panic, dread, and dramatic shifts in demographics. Refugees would make shelter east of the Mississippi. Wait, wait, wait. If markets crash, prices go down, wouldn't it be smart to just wait at home until, until the era hits block bottom and just buy like a bunch of them? Or as far as they could go. Then one day, the volcano erupts. So then they start going up, ten minutes, and you bought low. Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming are literally wiped off the map their landscapes explode and are covered in volcanic lava. Ash flies into the atmosphere as an ash cloud forms across the mainland United States. For an 1,000 mile radius, the ground is covered in 10 feet of volcanic ash, Holy making shit. two thirds of the country uninhabitable. Much of this land is located in the Great Plains, destroying vast amounts of agriculture. Cut the ash hair, cloud causes a like dramatic a shift in the Earth's climate, shifting the world into a volcanic winter. The United States struggles to maintain control in the weeks following the eruption. The ash cloud would make air travel impossible, and fallen blankets of ash cut the country into two. The West Coast is stranded. In other parts of the world, <laughs> countless it already is. crops this is what and daily livestock face could die, like leading to millions of casualties from famine. Who knows how the rest of the world would react to such a situation? Best prediction is the loss of the United States to global markets would bring on a depression far back. worse than the 1930s. Social upheaval certainly would happen across every nation, combined with terrible okay. harvest, famine, and new disease. This upheaval could bring civil war, revolution, and other civilization-destroying side effects. 
In the months after this eruption, many look for a scapegoat to blame this on. Me. Even though the eruption was purely an act of nature, What's fracking? political and religious movements in the U.S. arise in response QCM. to this catastrophe. Movements we could not even imagine. From such a drastic period of events, it's hard to say if the United States or other countries would survive the Yellowstone eruption. This is simply Mining. one scenario though, and is not a 100% prediction. Sometimes it's just fun to predict, no matter how morbid it is. What do you think the world would be like if Yellowstone erupts? Say in the comments, like on Facebook, and subscribe if you have- No, shut the fuck up. We just all died, dude. Wait, guys, is this really... Um, Daily Dose? It's him. Dude, he doesn't really do the, I thought he had gla like round glasses and like some really nerdy, like hunchback, small nerd dude. He's an actual Chad. He looks like a Chad. Holy shit. Is again? I'm sure I'll find it. Hold up. I think it's a French toast, right? Oh, I found it. Easy clap. That's it. Dude, look at how disgusting. Dude, look at this shit. Three months with you smile every second is worth it. Look at the amount of butter he puts on that shit. And then I've got one tin of pineapple that I sort of crush down. Ordinary pineapple Just chunks or rings of pineapple. Just fork down, take out all the juice, and spice up a little bit of mixed spice and a couple. Teaspoons of sugar. <laughs> Just that really good mix there. I love the sugar, boys. Just, just, just sprinkle some sugar on there, boys. Can you watch this, please? And take your pineapple mixture and put it on top of one buttered side of the bread. Scrape that out. A couple of really sort of heaped spoons there. Really pile that up in the middle. And then take the buttered side and put that on top. And just push your fingers around the edge there. Create that little island effect. Ah, that lovely? <laughs> Take a couple of eggs to our bowl. <laughs> Add some Did this way it? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Man. And just beat that up. Give that a little bit of a rhythm. <laughs> really, we get a lot of rhythm here in the islands, I tell you. They love their music, they love their food. And wide hard, we wide. Wide the hard. It's loose water. It's magnificent. There we are now. A little bit more mixed spice. That's it. Ah, of course. Then, you add a ten couple months of juice. Of rum. Want something to laugh? Make it tablespoons. A little bit of rum, boys. Pineapple juice. Fuck it. it. From the pineapple. But I think the rum kind of adds something extra special to it. Movie people love to make movies in this island. What about that great Hollywood star, Errol Flynn? Ah, oh, it's a lovely story that's told about him. He was cruising down in his yacht to Port Antonio and he got shipwrecked. The old swashbuckler getting shipwrecked in Port Antonio. Lovely. He arrived on the island and he said, hey, this is where I want to live. In fact, he proclaimed that it was more beautiful than any of his women. <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Pan onto the bar hey, again. Daddy, I'm love your streams. sitting on top of nice hot coals there. That's what you want to be. Okay, here we go, voice. Nice and quickly. Hey! Right, hey. Fuck, Fuck it! Fuck it! Three months. Just Thanks for the juice. Melt that down. You can see that. That's it. See, us beginning to foam at the edge there. Okay, take hold of your sandwich. Drop that inside the mixture. Just turn that over there. Make sure it soaks up some of that lovely spicy rummy egg. And then we're just going to slide that in to our pan. <laughs> oh, and just look at all that butter foaming up around the edge. That's really hot underneath there. That's what you want. Muck. Oh, lovely. Well done, done, boys. You can see all the foams just beginning to settle down there now. I think it's about time you burned to turn your fucking phone a in a cooking and stream and uh, talking shit like about this guy, oh, oh, oh Lovely crispy golden top there. Butter's all melted into it. Ugh. How's the coffee? Hey, yo, they've got that bread. Aroma. It's a bit special. 
Is it otherwise? Oh. Any lotion mix on it? And once all that foaming butter has died down, and you've got a nice golden French toast. Just slide that. XQC L. Beautiful. Ugh. Let's get rid of that. Sprinkle it with a little bit more <laughs> meat spice on top. If you wanted to, you could quite easily use a bit of cinnamon there. And of course, a touch more oh, sugar. Dude! Because why the fuck not? Ugh. A, a touch, boy, is just a touch, a touch of sugar.